So Solo Leveling Episode 10 is out and I'm here once again to compare the anime to the manhwa and see some of the differences, the changes and the similarities between these two mediums. I've also done the same for the last 9 episodes so I do hope you check them out before this one. Now starting off, the conversation between Johi and Jinwoo is almost exactly the same as in the manhwa, just with a little dialogue changes or tweaks here and there since the anime, you know, introduced or added her family, you know, to her story, which the manhwa never mentioned. <laughs> また引き抜く人でした。生命力みなぎるあの強い眼差しを。私引退することにしました。実家に帰ります。もし近くに寄られることがあったら連絡してください。案内しますね。それじゃあその時にもう一度食事に誘います。in the anime, she just walks off after, you know, saying her goodbyes. But in the manhwa, she actually waves, you know, with a smile one last time. Right after this, we finally get the warning that Jin Chil gives Jin Wu in the manhwa about Wan Dong Su, which happens after the talks about Kan Tai Shik's, you know, situation in the dungeon. But they actually used it as a flashback for this episode. Jin Ho, what is this? What is this? なんの集まりって決まってるじゃないですか。うちの攻撃隊です。なんだよ、その格好。イタリアの攻防、兄貴と僕、2人でダンジョンを回るんですから。これぐらいの備えは必要。失礼じゃないですか。私も歴史として <笑><笑><笑> なんだか緊張しますね。いや、まだ頭になんかついてるぞ。せめて兜だけでも。In the anime, we also see Jinwu use the stealth rune stone that he got by killing Taishi, now getting the stealth scale before entering the sea rank dungeon. But in the manhwa, he used it when he first got it. The anime also shows us the multiple sea rank dungeon raids that Jinwu and Jinho go into. They show us all the fights in a montage, which in the manhwa they just skipped most of them and just showed the last raid scene in the anime, which is almost exactly the same. Now in the anime, we see Ah Sang Meng, you know, calculate and, and actually find out about Jin Wu being a reawakened. But in the manhwa, he actually lets his office workers dig into Jin Wu and Jin Ho's info to find out more about them, which in the anime made it clear that, you know, he's the one personally doing that. Now in the anime, we see Ah Sang Meng go to, you know, where one of the dungeon raids that Jin Wu and Jin Ho are participating in, which in the anime, it was at the construction site, but in the manhwa, it was in a forest. Now, whilst there, he meets Song Yi, which in the manhwa, he kind of acts rude to her, you know, because he's a kid. But in the anime, you know, they are more polite. But he asks about, you know, the situation going on there. And later, actually hides and, you know, waits for everything to cool down and meets Jin Wu in the evening where they go to a cafe to discuss. But in the manhwa, he actually meets him immediately after Jin Wu got out of the Sea Rang dungeon. Now we also get an anime only scene of Choi Jong in having a nightmare about the Jeju Island you know raid that went wrong. It looks like he also has PTSD just like Beck you know, which they also showed in the last episode. And a document that he was holding shows that they're going to recon a Jeju Island and see how the situation is right now. Now I've been saying it in my other videos, but I like how they are building up to the Jeju Island arc, you know. That is the very first big arc that we have. He's solo leveling and propels San Jun's character into a national now an international treasure of course the world sees who he actually is now next the conversation between an sang ming and jing wu is almost the same just with a little dialogue tweak here and there <laughs> 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 this is the I don't want to hear anything about it. 
アンさんたちを真っ先に疑うことになるでしょう。Of course, sells him the C rank gate at a high price, which they later find out just like in the manual that he was actually scamming them, but you know, it was a price to pay for digging into their lives. Now, after selling the gates, Jin Woo calls Jin Ho the next day, which in the manual he actually calls him the very day that you know he sold the gates. 目を閉じて口を開けていただけますか。嘘だろ傷が消えたここまで見せてくださったということは信頼していただけていると考えてよろしいでしょうか秘密を口外しない限りは。Now, the last scene we see is Jin Woo driving to the location where the dungeon gate is, you know, for his job change opportunity. But in a manual, they just show the panel where he was already there, ready to get down to business. Which next episode is going to be totally insane with that fight with a specific new character who is going to. I don't want to say too much, but <laughs> I'm really excited. Oh, I forgot to also mention they showed, you know, Jin Woo's sister in this episode. Or like the manual, I don't think we ever saw her, you know, again after that, you know, training session that he had with her. Anyways, these are all of the changes and the differences and the similarities between episode 10 and the manual. Um, I did like some of the things that they added, but as I've been saying also throughout the the entire show, like I miss how Jin Woo is expressive in that comedic tone that you know they kind of changed and removed in the manual. But overall, A1 is doing an amazing job with how they are handling you no know, this because it is not easy. Anyways, as I said before, I've done the same videos for episode one to nine, so I do hope. We check those videos out and、uh, leave a like for them as well as this. It does help the video when the channel out. Subscribe and turn on that notification bell not to miss any new video as well. As always, Nadi Sajie. See you guys in the next one.